I'm back with the second episode about fear. I hope you enjoyed the first episode where I talked about what is fear, how fear is originated and what it does to our brain. In this episode, I'm going to talk about how fear changes the physiology in the body. My name is Sanjeev Nandi. I'm the author of the book, The Man with Zero Talent. And I'm also the founder of Luvu. It's a free health and wellness app and it's the only app which takes care of your overall health and well-being. The links are provided below. Click it today, download it and start living a happy, healthy and a successful life. The Heart Rate Tracker monitors your heart rate by scanning your index finger pulse. You can also unlock advanced meditation by meeting your daily goals and earning points. Download Luvo today and start experiencing happiness like never before. As most of you are aware that our physical and emotional health are not two separate entities. They are closely interwoven in what is called the mind-body connection. So how our brain and body is connected? It is connected through our nervous system. And our nervous system is divided into three parts. Central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, and the autonomic nervous system. The central nervous system is the connection between the brain and the spinal cord. And the connection through the spinal cord to all the parts of the body is called the peripheral nervous system. And the third nervous system is called the autonomic nervous system, which is located in the midbrain or the limbic system. As the name suggests, it's the body's autonomic self-regulating system which controls the body's unconscious bodily function like body temperature, heart rate, blood pressure, digestion, etc. Now, in my first episode, I talked about a word called amygdala quite a few times, which is associated with fear response. And this amygdala is also located in the midbrain or the limbic system. And this amygdala plays a crucial role in changing the physiology in the body, like changes in the heart rate, pulse rate, blood pressure, etc. Now you might be getting a little bit of idea how autonomic nervous system and the amygdala affects us to change the physiology in the body. Now let us dive deep into this autonomic nervous system. Our autonomic nervous system is divided into two parts, sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic nervous system as the name suggests sympathy, it's quite the opposite of sympathy. It is also called the fight or the flight response or you can also call increased alertness or attention. And the second system is called the parasympathetic nervous system which is the resting or the relaxation system or you can also say calming system. So either we are in the sympathetic nervous system or the parasympathetic nervous system 24-7. And our default mode is definitely the resting and the relaxation phase, which is the parasympathetic nervous system. So when we are in fear or danger, what happens? The amygdala activates the sympathetic nervous system and it prepares the body to fight with difficult situation. And different physiological changes started happening in the body, like our eye starts to dilate. Why? So that we can see the danger and think what we have to do. Our heart rate accelerates, blood pressure rises, our respiration uh, quickens, adrenaline is released. We are at the max stress level. All the energy from the internal organs is now going to the legs and arms so that we can fight with the danger. So you can see that, you know, so many physiological changes is happening because of fear or because of danger. And these all changes are very autonomic and very natural, which happens to all the human beings. Now, what happens when we are in the other mode, which is the resting and the relaxation mode? The heart rate calms down. The blood pressure is normal. Your breathing slows down. 
your body sends all the energy for digestion which means you know you are building your muscles you are making more hormones your body is in homeostasis which is the resting and relaxation phase and when you are in this phase you are healthy and you are happy just to give you example of acute stress so when i am giving this presentation i am in the sympathetic nervous system which means i am in increase alertness or attentiveness mode whereas you people who are sitting in the couch is in the resting and relaxation mode which is the default mode and once i finish this presentation i will again go back to the resting and relaxation mode which is the parasympathetic nervous mode so this is an example of acute stress and if we wanted to achieve something bigger in our life we definitely have to deal with these acute stress otherwise we cannot achieve anything big or significant in our life because we all have goals and we all have dreams and we all have to manage our stress in a way so that we can become better in our life and the example of chronic stress is different things happen in our life and there are certain circumstances which is beyond our control sometimes we think about our past or what will happen in the future and we start thinking about the same thought over and over again and then the small problem which was acute at one time becomes chronic because we are not able to think beyond the situation beyond that thought and once that become chronic what happening is our sympathetic nervous system gets activated and once that activated our heart rate and respiration becomes faster which leads to high blood pressure immunity goes down which means we are more prone to diseases our body needs more insulin which leads to high blood sugar and high blood sugar eventually leads to high cholesterol in the body anxiety and depression takes over and our life goes downhill from there because we are trying to fight with one disease to another so you can see that so many physiological changes which is happening in our body due to chronic stress and we have to take care of the root cause why rather than you know taking care of the blood pressure cholesterol or sugar how can we take care of this chronic stress because if we are able to take care of the root problem then we will be able to live a life which is happy and healthy in my next episode i will give you tools and techniques to deal with this chronic stress so that we can live a life which is happy and which is fruitful but by that time you can download my free app luvo the links are provided at the bottom it's free of cost hopefully you will enjoy it thank you have a nice day bye